Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? It's Latoya O'Kia. Welcome back to another video. Come on in, come on in, come on in, baby. So if you are new to me, I am Latoya O'Kia. I'm a master coach, spiritual leader, and a business mentor. I train and certify life coaches, and we build transformational God-made CEOs for the kingdom of God, baby. Okay, so if you know that you know that you know that this is your season, that this is your time, baby, to rise up, and to become the leader that you were divinely created to be and to launch a successful kingdom-based business using your gifts and your talents that God placed inside of you to glorify his kingdom. Come on in, come on in. You are in the right place. This is the right channel. This is the right time. So listen, baby, I got to get right on into the message because I actually just got a phone call from the kids and I got to go pick up Kari. Say his throat hurting, y'all. We got to go pick him up. But I look low-key. I think he just didn't want to leave home. He just wanted to stay home. <laughs> he just wanted to stay home. Y'all know how you get them calls from your kids and it'd be kind of suspect. It'd be like, mm-hmm. You said what hurting? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. And you know in the back of your mind, they just wanted to come home. Okay. So let me get right on into the message. So listen, you got to start right now. Look, I'm going to make this thing cut and dry. I'm going to make it so simple. You got to start right now. And I want you to put this in the comments. Say, start right now. Start right now. Start right now as in whatever it is that God has placed inside of you, your gifts, your talents, your capabilities, your strengths, your story, your testimony, your experience. So many of you, baby, if you told your story, like people would be lining up to hear your story and to hear your triumphs and to hear the things that you have been through in your life things that seasons were like we talk about all the time you slid down the wall did the ugly cry what it taught you what you learned the lessons that you are now going to be able to teach people from the experiences that you had the pain that you experienced in your own life listen you got to start right now there is a tribe of people that are connected to your voice. They are connected to your anointing. They are connected to the gifts and the talents that God has placed on the inside of you. I just did a message about this um, the other day called your fingerprint is the blueprint. If you didn't catch that message, make sure you go watch it. I'm gonna link it below in the description of this video because I went in that night, baby. We did a live and I went in just letting you know that you are unique in the way that God has created you. You have gifts and talents on the inside of you, your personality, your character, your integrity, just your, your uniqueness about yourself and the things that you've been through and just the way that you're going to deliver the message, the way that you're going to deliver the gifts that God placed inside of you. Nobody will be able to do it like you. Somebody put it in the comments that they can't do it like me. <laughs> they can't do it like me. Come on now. They can Listen. It is a void in the earth right now that only you will be able to feel. I can't feel it. Such and such can't feel it. Coach such and such. Coach whoever. I don't care what these people credentials are. I don't care how many letters they got behind their name. I don't care what kind of seniority they got, how many years they've been in this thing. Listen to me, baby, when I tell you that there is something that you have been called to do that nobody else will be able to do it like you can. It is in your uniqueness. It is in your delivery. Listen, and a lot of the things that you were disqualified for, a lot of the things that you may be insecure about, a lot of the things that caused you to hide in the shadows, that caused you to be insecure, that caused you to just blend in and fade out in the background, those are the very things. Listen to me. The things that the enemy try to disqualify you with, those are the very things that qualify you. Yeah, because I give you an example with me. He tried to disqualify me with with my accent, with how I talk, because I grew up in the South around my grandmama and my my grandma aunt, uh, my grandma sisters, which were my great aunties, and they raised me, and I spent a lot of time around them, and I just started talking like them. I just picked up they talk, okay, and so had been talking like that all my life. But then when I got in my purpose and I started my business. That because that was something that I was teased about when I was younger, something that people used to try to come for me on. And I'm breaking this down to let you know that you're going to have your own little things that people used to tease you about, that people would come for you on. And when you step out for God, when you start your business, when you get in your purpose, when you get in your kingdom assignment, 
the enemy going to bring that same stuff bite round to your door again. But I want you to, this is what I want you to take away from this video today, to know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. This was the breakthrough for me. When I understood, Toya, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. When you start going to that mirror and you are able to love the person that's looking back at you in that mirror, you're able to love the way this person sound, love the way this person talk, love the way this person walk. You got to start loving every single aspect about yourself because you got to know, baby, that you are God's masterpiece. I got that picture in, in my bathroom, in between my mirrors, that scripture. I am God's masterpiece. I want you to put that in the comments, baby. To any of my people that you've been letting your doubts, you've been letting your fears, you've been letting your insecurities stop you from stepping out in your lane and in your assignment, I want you to decree it today. Declare it and decree it and affirm it. I am God's masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece, baby. And you got to start right now because somebody is depending on your transformation. Somebody is dependent on your yes. Somebody is dependent on you going all in and not looking back. You got to start right now. And I want to let you know that the time is going to pass, whether you make the decision or not. The weeks are going to pass, the months, the years, they are going to pass by whether you make the decision or not. So you might as well start being intentional. You might as well start moving with, with, with the boldness and with the confidence that God has placed inside of you. And then listen to this, because this is what I realized. God don't be calling you to do nothing that he didn't already put inside of you. He didn't already put the boldness in you. He didn't already put the confidence in you. He didn't already put the gifts in you. You have everything in you right now to fulfill your assignment and to fulfill your God-given divine destiny, baby. He ain't got to send you nothing else. You ain't got to wait for him to drop nothing off to you. You ain't got to wait for somebody to come bring it to you. All you got to do is get up and start believing. You got to get up and start moving. And if your faith is kind of shaky right now, I want you to get in that word. I want you to come on this channel. I want you to play these videos. And you know what I want you to do? I want you to play it over and over and over and over. I want you to get in that word and I want you to read it over and over and over. I want you to play the scriptures and I want you to listen to them over and over and over. Then come back on this channel and watch a video over and over and over again. And I'm giving you the practical breakdown of this because you know what this is going to do. It's going to build your faith. The word of God lets us know that faith comes by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. So you have to feed. You have to give your subconscious mind the food that it needs to believe. You have to give it the word of God. And the more you hear it, the, the Bible is letting us know the, the power of repetition. Repetition. When you listen to it over and over and over. When you feed your subconscious mind, when you feed your spirit, feed your soul with the word of God over and over and over again, slowly you begin to believe what your mind hears. Listen to me. The more times you hear something, it does not matter if it's true or false. The more times through repetition that you hear something, your mind will accept it as reality and the subconscious mind will start moving you in the direction of whatever that thing is that you keep hearing. This is why it's so important that you watch and guard your ear gates and your eye gates. If it is not moving you in the direction of your goals and your dreams and your vision and God's assignment for your life, you got to shut it off, baby. You got to shut it off and you got to move with just that much intention in this time and in this season, baby, because we are living in prophetic times right now. The word of God, the prophecy that was given to us thousands of years ago is being fulfilled right now as we speak. It's being fulfilled right now as I'm recording this video. And I want you to be a part of this powerful move of God, baby. This is the season that the last shall be first and the first shall be last. But you got to get started. If God is telling you, I'm going to bless the works of your hand. But if you're not putting your hands on nothing, if you're not creating nothing, he ain't got nothing to bless. So you got to get started now. You got to take the knowledge that you have in your head. Because I don't care who you are, where you came from, you know something. If God can use me, if he can launch a successful kingdom based business from me, from my story, from what I done been through. Come on now. I know he can use you. God has no respect to persons. All he needs is somebody that's going to be willing to believe and somebody that is willing to start right now. Now is the time. What you going to do? <laughs> you going to barbecue a meal, do baby. OK, so I got to go. I got to go get the kids. I want you to take from this message that you got to get started right now. 
Now, if you are, you know, you want to get started, but you don't know where to get started. You know, you, you know, you are called to launch a God led kingdom based business and you are called to be a successful God made CEO, but you just don't know how to get started. You just don't know what to do. I want you to click the link below in the description, baby, and join our standing on kingdom business community. It's only $47 a month, um, a month to join right now. And that's less than a cup of coffee a day, baby. So sow that seed and come in. And what we do inside of this community, you connect with a private support group of other divine ones. You have me as your coach and I'm leading you and guiding you and teaching you how to take your knowledge and how to turn it into dollars, how to take your life experiences, how to take your testimony, your gifts, your talents, and how to turn it into a kingdom based business that glorifies God, that creates income streams for you and your family and advances the kingdom of God, baby. Now is the time. You got to get started now. How you think God going to gonna make this way for you? He's giving you the ability to create wealth for yourself, but you got to put your hands on something. You can't be sitting there waiting for something to fall out the sky on you. It's only for the ones that get up and take action and get started now. OK, so don't let this move pass you by, baby. Get up and get started now. So click the link below in the description and I'm going to see you on the inside. And I want you to think about this. What you signing up for when you click that link, you signing up for a life of financial freedom, a life of abundance, a life of success, a life of prosperity. Come on now. Imagine a life where you get to wake up every day and do what you want to do with your time. Like I said, my son just called me and said, oh, mama, my throat hurt. And now I got to stop everything I'm doing <laughs> and go pick up all my children and bring them back home. But that's just a minor inconvenience. But if I worked a job, if I was stuck somewhere working for an employer that I didn't want to work for, they would have been tripping, talk about, oh, no, we can't let you off because you, you ain't got no PTO time or you ain't got no you ain't got no whatever they call it. You ain't got no time off. And if you leave, we're going to fire you. No, listen, God say, I want my people in this season to have financial freedom, to be able to do what you want to do with your time. So imagine a life where if your kids call you, you able to go and be there for them. You're able to enjoy your family, enjoy your husband, enjoy your wife. Why? Because you use your gifts to start a kingdom based business. OK, so click the link. Sign up, baby. Don't make your destiny. Wait, not one more day. Don't wait. That don't don't make that life of financial freedom and that life of financial security and that life of peace, life of abundance. Don't make it wait. Not one more day. OK, the only thing that's stopping you, the only thing that is is hindering that is you taking action and you getting started right now okay so click the link and i'll see y'all inside baby i love you so much i am latoya o'keel i'm praying for you get started